Hey guys, so welcome to day nine. Sorry for if you can hear the um, ambulance just went by. So welcome to day nine. I know you guys are probably like, every time she films, she has on a Howard something. So I have a lot of Howard gear guys and on the weekends and when I'm not at work is when I wear them. So I apologize if you guys are like, okay, do you have some other clothes? And the answer is yes. Um, but today I wanted to talk about some of my favorite Christmas memories and traditions. So, um, other than what I've mentioned to you guys before, looking at this Grinch You Stole Christmas, Frosty the Snowman, Rudolph, Charlie Brown cartoons with my brothers, um, you know, that's a great memory. But um, on Christmas Day, one thing that I always remember, my grandmother um, lived maybe about 15 minutes from me growing up. So we would always go after, you know, we open gifts and stuff at home. We would go over to my grandmother's house for Christmas dinner. And my cousins um, would always be there. I had cousins that came from Richmond, from Maryland at the time, and um, Clinton, North Carolina, if you guys have ever heard of that. So, you know, I just had cousins and family in town. And that was our time to get together because I really, I really didn't see them a lot except for on holidays. So we would get together, we um, would play games, you know, get in trouble. <laughs> my uncle would always couch us. My uncle and my dad would always make us couch. And that means we've been getting on their nerves so we had to go sit in the living room and sit on the couch like a timeout. So we would play Uno. I remember playing Uno and Taboo and just having a great time. My cousin Tony would love to cheat and <laughs> Uno, but you know, those are some of my fond memories. And my grandma would always make an apple cake. Um, that was for everybody. The orange cake was Tony claimed was his because grandma knew he loved orange cake. And she would make a bitter chocolate cake for my dad. I wasn't a fan of that, but I just remember the desserts. I remember the sweet potato pie. I remember the chicken and dumplings. I remember the ham. I remember the Kool-Aid that she would put orange juice in and Sprite or something. It just was the best Kool-Aid ever. Like, so yeah, those are my Christmas memories at Grandma's house. And then at, at my house, my parents had an annual Christmas party for their friends and, um, you know, people in our hometown. So I remember Christmas Eve, you know, we had the party and people would leave probably about 9 or 10 because everybody had to go do Santa Claus and stuff. So I remember, you know, we would help clean up or whatever, and then we would have to go to bed. And I remember my brother, mainly my middle brother, Jeffrey, not my oldest brother, Roy, because he was, like, a lot older than me. But um, Jeffrey and I would go to bed, but then we would still kind of camp out, like, sit in our doorways. Um, you know, our rooms faced each other, so we would kind of, like, camp out in our door and try to listen and see if we hear stuff and try to guess what, you know, toys we heard being, you know, assembled or what, you know, just stuff like that. Um, also, I remember at the Christmas party, like, that was a good time for all my friends. Like, I mean, the whole party had everybody, adults, teenagers, kids like it was a family event so I remember that was my time to get to get with my friends and play with them again um, another memory we always went to the Christmas parade when I was a child and I remember just standing and you know people would ride by on the fire trucks and throw candy and then I became older and I was in the parade like I was in the band in middle school and in high school and I was also a cheerleader so you know, I remember participating in the parades, and that was a lot of fun. Um, what else? It's so many memories, guys. Um, I remember my boyfriend and I were talking about the smell of Christmas. Like, Christmas had a smell. Like, you you just knew it was Christmas. You could smell, like, the fire burning. You know, like, the smoke coming out of people's chimneys. Everybody, at, at around that time of year, we had fruit sales at home. Like, you know, the band and everything would sell fruit. So, like, they would get these boxes of fruit from Florida. So, you, it was always around Christmas time. So, you would smell the oranges and the grapefruit and all that in the house. Because everybody bought a box of oranges. Um, 
you know, and then you had that hard Christmas candy. And those were staple items in your stocking. Like, I know I always got oranges, walnuts. I didn't even like walnuts and some hard candy. But then, of course, as we got older and stuff, you know, my mom knew, like, the little things I liked. Like, we would get Snickers and stuff in our um, stockings. But I remember that. And what else? Um, gosh, there's so many. I remember waking up um, early. We couldn't get up before like six my parents would make us stay in the bed until at least six o'clock six or seven and then when we got older they didn't have to make us stay in the bed we did um but we would get up and my dad was a doctor so a lot of times he was at the hospital on call or whatever when it, when we first got up but i remember we could go look at what santa claus brought us but we couldn't open any gifts until dad got home so dad would get home probably around nine or ten we would eat breakfast and then we would go open gifts and after that my dad would light the fireplace and I used to love that um, light the fireplace and we'd burn the wrapping paper or whatever and you know just we would roast marshmallows a lot of times we did that Christmas Eve too also Christmas Eve um, my mom we would all go and sit around the nativity scene and this mainly when I was younger um, and we would talk about the meaning of Christmas and we would play Christmas music and just kind of talk about you know the year and everything it was just yeah those are good memories and then as I got older I remember um we always had like a it's called the Christmas tournament in high school where the um different basketball teams from the various high schools in the area would have this big tournament and that was when everybody would come and you would wear your new Christmas gear because it always happened like the weekend after Christmas and you know you would get to see your friends before school started again for the year but you know you had on your fresh Christmas gear and you know and when you had your little boyfriends and girlfriends you would couple up there the game so I have some really fond Christmas memories now that I've gotten older and I've moved to Maryland and also did this when I lived in um, North Carolina in Greensboro I go to the Festival of Lights everyone in different cities calls it something different but it's basically when you drive through in your car and you can turn to Christmas music and you just look at the different light displays and stuff so I try to do that I used to do it with my niece and nephew when they were younger we've kind of fallen off now that they're older but um my boyfriend and i were saying we're going to try to take his kids they're teenagers too they probably won't appreciate it but we want to take them anyway it's a fun thing to do um i used to also ride through in north carolina um in rural north carolina where i'm from in murfreesboro we didn't have a festival of lights but we would drive through the neighborhoods and look at christmas lights and you know things like that so those are my christmas memories guys I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, I know as soon as I stop recording, I'll think of some more. But those are just a few, um, a glimpse into my life and things I do. Like I mentioned earlier, well, once you see this, you would have already seen my vlog. Um, baking cookies was a Christmas tradition. And my mom also makes sausage cheese balls every Christmas. So I look forward to that as well during the holidays, past and present. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to share any of your fav favorite Christmas memories or traditions down below in the comments. And I will see you tomorrow for day 10, y'all. Christmas is almost here. Woo -hoo. Let's listen to a little Christmas music before we go out. Uh-oh, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. And I'm listening to Sirius XM Holiday Soul Channel 49. And this is The Temptations. Come on, come on, come on. Draw my sleigh tonight. Then how the reindeer loved it.